Hello, welcome to another episode of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. Now today we have 47 days left till Halloween, as you see the calendar says. And I'm drinking out of my new trick or treat movie glass that I got at Spirit Store. I love Spirit. And having a little cab with today's meal because we're cooking with some ground beef. So let's get this going. I'm going to make some stuffed bell peppers today with a mixture of ground beef, black beans, some spices, some tomato sauce, and onion in the ground beef, and that's about it. And if you're a vegetarian, you can stuff it with just the black beans. You could add rice into it, but we're gonna eat some rice on the side. So let's get this going. And the recipe will be in the description below. So you cook your ground beef with your onions in it, chopped onions, about a half a cup of chopped onions, one pound of ground beef. Uh, you could use ground turkey also if you'd rather. And then you just cook it up till it's nice and done. You know, keep moving it around in the pan and chopping it up. And you salt your meat to taste when you're cooking it. I probably like a teaspoon at least. And a little black pepper. And then you drain your meat. Then you can put it back into the same pot where we will mix everything together so you don't make a big mess. So when I core and clean out the bell pepper, I just cut along the top and then I remove the stem very carefully. Be careful so you don't crack the pepper. You wanna keep it nice and intact. And then on the inside, you clean out all of the seeds and you can rinse it out and just kind of pull out the little sides on the inside that are falling apart so you have more room to stuff your pepper. Okay, now that we're here with our cleaned out bell peppers, you can see I got the seeds out, I rinsed them out after I cored them. Now they're ready to go in our boiling water. You just put them in, I kind of tilt them so they get filled with water, and then they just set up. It's, they're like magic. So here goes another one. Woo! Okay, so now the peppers are in the boiling water and they're sitting up. Just turn it on, keep it boiling, probably between medium and high. And now we're gonna just put them in here for probably about five minutes and test them. We just wanna get them a little bit cooked and then we will stuff them. So checking the peppers now, I set the timer for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna add about a good five minutes more at least. You're going to see in the pot when you're looking at them, they're gonna change color and get a little light, lighter as they cook. You don't want them to get so soggy that they fall apart, but you don't want them too crispy, so that's why we're boiling them first. And that's how you get your peppers cooked just right before you step them. Okay, so checking the peppers, they're done. I wouldn't boil them longer than uh, 20 minutes at the maximum. They went almost to 20. Be very careful, these are hot. Now you'll just pour the water out very carefully. Now we can take them out. Okay, so I again, I like my tongs for this. Here's my little plastic tray, and I'm gonna take them out onto this. There's just two of us, so we probably won't eat all four peppers, but if we're really hungry, we can. Otherwise, we have another leftovers for dinner. One's enough when you eat a you know, salad with it or some rice or whatever you have along with it. They still have their nice green color. You don't want to get them boiled to death so that they turn really light colored and get all slimy. That's why 15 to 20 minutes is maximum. I'm gonna turn them upside down just to let the water drain out. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna set my oven to 350 because we're gonna bake them once we get them stuffed. So now we're going to make our mixture to stuff the peppers. I turned the peppers upside down just to let the water run out. And now we're back to the same pot that we cooked our meat in and drained it. So you don't have to dirty up another pan, keep it nice and easy. I'm gonna use an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Pour that in. Then I rinsed and drained a 15 ounce can of black beans. You could use any kind of beans. I like black beans in this because I'm adding a little chili powder and they're just small, taste good in it, have, have a lot of smoky flavor. Here's the black beans. I'm gonna pour that in and I'm gonna give it a little stir. Now I'm going to put in some seasonings. So I'm gonna put in some chili powder and I'm gonna put in a good teaspoon of chili powder. 
that gives it a lot of good flavor. Sprinkle it all in. Next I'll put in some ground cumin. This is always a good spice to have on hand. You can do so much with it. Put in a good teaspoon of cumin. This is where you get all your flavor. Along with the onions that are, have been cooked in the meat, you've got to have that to give that flavor. And I use the shortcut chopped frozen onions again, which I know a lot of you have enjoyed hearing about. And boy, is it a lifesaver. Now for a little garlic powder. I don't like to overdo it with garlic. We vampires don't do well with too much. And so I'm gonna just put in a half a teaspoon. I just use the powder. Now, if you wanted more and you're a real uh, garlic fan, and if I, you know, I like it too when you put in, you could saute your onions and your garlic, fresh garlic, clove, chopped up on the stove and saute it together and then cook your meat, you could do that too. But this is easy. Now give it a good stir. Get all of this stirred together. Now what I really like too, not too much, unless you like a lot, um, some red chili pepper flakes. They add some nice flavor. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of shakes. And then you can always add more. All right, that should do that. The mixture is ready. And these have drained, so I'm gonna turn them back over. They're still hot. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is spray your pan. I just have a little small pan here to hold four. If you make these for a, a group of people, you could use a larger pan, glass or tin, whatever you want. And I'm gonna spray it with the nonstick canola oil that I like. Now that's all ready to put my little peppers in. I'll put them right in the pan. See how fancy these look? And it's not hard to make. And you could, you could think of different ways to make it. I mean, you could make them with diced tomatoes. You can make them with the other veggies in it. And there's so many variations. You could do this uh, vegetarian without meat or with just different spices, tomato sauce or soup, like I said. So I'll, I'll make different variations, but it's just a pretty way to serve a meal too, if you have company, because everybody gets one. Not everybody makes these, so it's kind of fun. Now you fill these as full as you can get them. Okay, so these are done. You have the option of putting a little cheese on and melting it. I'm gonna get out some shredded cheddar cheese that I have. You can use cheddar, you could use jack, you could use whatever you want. Just sprinkle a little cheese on the top of each one. And then it looks pretty, of course, when you take it out with the glistening melted cheese all on it. And now I'm going to take them over to the oven, which is preheated to 350. Put them in, and I'm gonna set timer for 20 minutes and check them. All right, so the timer went off, 20 minutes. Let's check the peppers. The tops look like they could go maybe five minutes. Let's set it for five more minutes. They smell really, 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 really good. You know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm just gonna turn it on broil, just for the last couple months. Now, broil sets your oven to 500 degrees, so it is hot. You do not want it to be at 500 degrees without monitoring it and doing it for about two to three minutes. So now it should get that cheese just nice and gooey on top because I'm sure it's cooked all, all the way through. It's, the meat was already cooked, so it's just heating it through is what we wanted. Get all those flavors together. Let's take a peek at what's happening. 500 degrees is hot. If it gets to be 500 degrees in Tucson, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Looking good. This is a good thing to make when you want a tasty dinner. It's simple and we will be doing a lot more fun cooking recipes for fall. We'll do some more baking and some more dinner dishes. All right, let's get the peppers. They gotta be done by now. Look at them. Look at that. They got a little bit browned on the top. Oh, they look so good. Got a little bit of char on them from that two minutes of broil. Don't do it more than two minutes. Okay, so I got my pinchers ready. That's what you call them, the pinchers. Now let's put one on our plate. I got a little brown rice tonight we're gonna have with us. When you cut up in your pepper and it all kind of goes all out, you eat it with that brown rice and it is so good. So let's put on 
A nice big one for mochi. Look at that. Another thing that I like to do is put out a couple hot sauces. People are gonna want that. You know, the family I have, everybody wants something spicy. Now the other thing I like to do is put a little sour cream on it. I like to put it on, it looks pretty if somebody wants some on, just to put it on like that. So here we are, Mama Cat's Rockin' Eats, stuffed bell peppers, so good. Make them at home. Let's open this up. Let's see what it looks like inside. The juices are all running out. Look at that. It is fantastic. Make these people. You will not be sorry. If you're eating low carb, don't eat rice with it. Have salad with it. You can do that. So let's see what it tastes like. Let's get a bite. Mm. Two thumbs up from Mama Cat. Thank you for watching another episode. Let's get together again next week for another episode of some good food. Don't know what I'm gonna make yet, but it'll be something fun and yummy. Cheers! I said cheers first. Oh my gosh, yes, this so tastes good. so good. I'm not kidding. Muffin. And it's not even too hot. You're gonna love. So, now then.